by now you will have encountered some startling statistics about America's exceptional place in the world of crime and punishment. Um, the United States has 5% of the world's population and somewhere between 20 and 25% of the world's prisoners. The number of incarcerated in this country has increased 500% over the past 30 years. The population of our prisons is disproportionately black and Latino. Nationally, African Americans are jailed at almost four times the rate of whites. About three quarters of the inmates released from state prisons are rearrested within five years of their release. As many as one third of all American adults now have a criminal record. So the combination of an actual crime, spike in crime, public fear, and politicians um, fear mongering uh, and race baiting um, uh, on top of that got us where we are now. Um, the, I tend to be a little optimistic, maybe I'm just a Pollyanna at heart, but I'm a little optimistic that we may actually do something about it, in part because um, there's a whole generation that's grown up, um, the millennial generation and the students here, uh, who didn't grow up with the crack panic and the, and the fear of this, the spike in crime and who were open to the idea that there are alternatives to locking everybody up. So it, it, it takes public pressure, it takes public interest, it takes all of you guys really, I think, staying active and involved. I mean, there will, I think for as long as there's things like the Marshall Project, there's great professors like you and, and, and there's storytellers like me, we'll keep bringing out these stories. But like the national conversation has to be propelled by the public. Like in a way, it's like we can pick these threads up and then I hope that the world can run with them. Because if not, it doesn't reach as deep as it needs to reach.